So I have a little bit of a theory. Let's talk about how to consecrate the amulet of Ur. I think I figured this one out. Necronomicon is coming. So by the amulet of Ur, I mean the, um, let's see, this. Everybody remember this one? Um, so this is the pendant that the Mad Arab finds in the first chapter of the Necro, the um, Testimony of the Mad Arab, part one. And uh, let me just try to go to that in the book so I can use a little bit of reference here. You know, it's on page 11, right there. So in the tale, you know, um, after finding the occultists and they chase him and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go into it because I've gone into it in other vids. Um, after they all vanish into the roads, turn into goo, you got, um, he goes back up, it, up to the campsite and the fire, right there in the fire, is the amulet of Ur. So we always got to think about context. There's nothing but clues in here. Nothing is stated 100% outright. So, and thanks to my buddy at the Black Tower for kind of getting my brain on this one. Nice. Um, so anyway, so the Amulet of Ur, as I've discussed previously, is the seal to the gate of Arzir. It is the seal to the gate of the, of the outside. It's the seal to the gate, seal to the gate of Eox Sakak. And... So what do we do with all of the other seals? Well, um, in the book of the book of the walking, um, it says that when you are doing a gate walk uh, as part of the ceremony, you take the seal that you created when the particular zoni was exalted, and you whisper its name softly upon it. So then we have to say, well, when is Arzir exalted? So I dug into a book that I, I used to have. I actually gave it away. Um, it was uh, Crowley's book four, I think. I can't exactly remember the name of it, but I'm sure you guys have seen that, especially my buddies. Um, and in that book, he's got this Kabbalah, this picture of the Kabbalah, which, by the way, um, the Necronomicon gate system, the Chaldean planets, completely line up with the um with the Kabbalah, which is my which is part of my argument to where to why the uh, Chaldean order of planets and therefore the Necronomicon gate system came before the Kabbalah. And hey, it's my opinion. You want to flame more? Go ahead and start it. But so I took the supplementary materials from seven seven seven, and I took that graphic that was in Crowley's book where he has all those different tarot cards and uh, zodiac signs lined up with the different paths and all that stuff, and the spheres, and I actually made this. Let's see how good I can get it up there for anybody that wants to kind of make a screenshot or something. Now, this I made a while back, and, God, this must be a year, year and a half, two years old or something. But anyway, so back to my main point. When is Arzir exalted? So if you happen to pause the vid and take a look at that, or maybe do a little uh, screen capture or whatever, go ahead and take a look. But the sphere of um, the sphere of Ganzir is Uranus. It's associated with Anu, with the different associations I was able to make, and that is because as above, so below. Ganzir is Arzir. So then we say, okay, well the sphere of Uranus. When is that exalted? And from my research, it says that it's exalted in Scorpio. So, possibly, when Uranus is in Scorpio and the moon is full, that's when you create your amulet of Ur and you consecrate it. You know, pray to Anu, blah, 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 whisper its name softly upon it. That kind of stuff. Now, I have a little bit more of a theory that's kind of my own personal, hey, that might work kind of thing. So, Arzir is supposed to be the way out there, right? Beyond our solar system, right? Way out there, and also, conversely, way deep in here. Not really in here. More in subconscious -y. Subconscious. You know, the Absu-ish stuff. So, given that, if it's supposed to be way out there, then what we're talking about is 29 degrees Sagittarius, which happens to be the galactic center, the center of our uh, of our galaxy, galactic center. Get it? Um, so what I'm thinking is it could be when <clears throat> Uranus 
is in, is exalted in. Let me just double check that. Scorpio, right? Or when Uranus is exactly 29 degrees Sag, or yep, 29 degrees Sagittarius, and when the moon is full. Now, when is that going to happen? Probably super rare, but as I've come to more deeply understand the system, when you are supposed to consecrate all these different seals during their, the exaltations of planets, this process can take years. And I'm actually completely obeying it by those different rules that I found out, which is why currently I am in the Venus gate. And um, I do have the sun seal prepped. I do have the, um, the seal for Mars prepped. Um, and I think I have a couple other ones, but they're probably not in order. I think I might have the one for Saturn prep too. Um, they're in this drawer over here, which you guys can't see. But, so that is essentially my theory on when to consecrate the amulet of Ur, which, by the way, is supposed to hide from the sun, because Shamash is greedy, and you're supposed to wear it at all times. I took it off for this demonstration here. But, um, so yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Hey, I'm around my usual time. Anyway, um, so that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Questions, comments, complaints, concerns, issues, drop them down below. Check out all my other videos for Necronomicon mechanics and any other kind of magic stuff that I've been able to cook up. And even a couple of the funny videos that, I, that I've put up about my personal life, like packing and my cats going nuts or the swans I saw out in the backyard. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I also have one, I have probably have a couple, couple other notes. Move the computer, it got a little shaky. But, um, so I just recently hit 666 subscribers, which was hysterical. Um, and it's actually gone up since then. I'm actually surprised at the amount of subscribers I'm getting, which is great. The, d the amount of emails I've been getting have been, have been pretty good. Please be patient when it comes to me responding to stuff because school year started, I'm busy, I'm at work. So just chill out a little bit. Give me some time. And, um, what else was I going to say? You know, everybody does those like subscriber specials and stuff. And, and mainly because I'm a really, really small channel, which I actually kind of like, cause I really get to know everybody that I'm talking to. Um, one thing I was going to say was if I hit a thousand, what I'm probably going to do for that is I am going to videotape myself actually going through a gate walking ceremony where I'm, I'm essentially just going to do a mock one where I'm going to walk through the different steps to really show you guys how it goes step by step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, blah, blah. So you guys get a better idea than just my gatewalking uh, tips and tricks and stuff that I've been sending to people on paper. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think about that as an idea for like a subscriber special. And let's see if I can, let's see if I can actually cook that up and make it look good when I hit a thousand. The other thing is, um, I might actually change the name of the channel to Lama Dudin Gear because this is the teachings of the, of the ancient gods. It's all this stuff that I've been able to cook up and that's what I'm presenting to you guys. And also a word on the manuscript, because of those copyright issues and stuff and where I don't want to hit walls and whatever and, and get slapped by um, publishers and blah, 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 blah. I'm really just trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to work around the Necronomicon system while still being able to present it without kind of running into taking so much out of this that it gets kind of a little bit too hairy. So essentially, all of my knowledge is being poured into this channel so you guys can access it and so anybody else that wants to go through the system can access the system and doesn't necessarily have to wait for the book. And any knowledge that I have, you know, I will share it with you guys if you send me an email and be like, hey, what's up? I want some help. So um, yeah, that's about it. So let me know what you guys think about it and uh, good hunting.